Hey, hey, this is Raining Ravens bringing to you another video to this channel, a channel that you probably thought I wasn't going to be uploading to anymore. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be uploading to, but I found this video to be uh, uh, one that uh, was very pertinent for me to make, just to give you my two cents on everything that's kind of been going on lately. Um, later on in the video, I'll tell you kind of where I've been, but... Right now, I kind of want to just talk about a little bit about uh, Madden 21 and Madden 22 and how the overall Madden community um, has been reacting. Um, now, you guys know I've been playing Madden for a long time. I've been playing for actually over 20 years, but only been streaming it since oh, 2015. Um, I'm a big fan of the game. Um, I've I was devastated though uh, the day that I found out that ESPN NFL 2k was no longer gonna be a thing because um, That was my game back in the day NFL 2k 5 was the game I played the game I played against all my buddies and I thought was the the most real representation of NFL football Um here we are fast forward 15 years later, 16 years later, and we are playing Madden 21. Uh, haven't seen any any uh, signs that ESPN is going to be coming back with a football game, uh, a simulation football game rather. Um, so I understand a lot of the outrage, right? Um, you expect great quality products when there's competition. Think about when Madden was its best. Madden 08 and Madden 05 those are arguably one of the best Maddens out there why was that because there was actually competition out there so they had to compete however if you're the only one making the product that people are looking for the argument can be made that you probably don't have to try as hard because you already got their business what else are you gonna do and you already know the the football community is very passionate about Madden. Uh, we obviously love to play our game. We can go out and play any football game we want. And I know there's a lot of different off-brand football games out there. But bottom line is, if you're a guy like me and you want to fire up a game of Madden and uh, play using your ta favorite team, for me it's obviously the Ravens, uh, I want to be able to do that. And right now Madden is the only option but it's not all bad news um, that's kind of what I wanted to touch on um, you'd probably be living under a rock if you haven't been made aware of what's been going on lately on Twitter you know in regards to Madden 21 Madden 22 just the overall uh, reaction towards the games it's not all great it's not all great um, and I can totally understand it we're going from uh, a year where uh, stop and go animations um, and just flat, flat, right, you know, uh, unrealistic animations in Madden 21. They're kind of being a thing of the past now because as we move on to Madden 22, uh, stop and goes are no longer a thing. Uh, a lot of stuff that used to work in Madden 21 is gone it it just doesn't work the player motion does not allow it and what I mean by that is the player motion is upgraded to the point where momentum is a thing uh, acceleration is a thing and you can't just stop and go your momentum has to go somewhere and so a lot of content creators and people competitive guys people who've been playing this game and make money off this game uh, who's it's their job to play this game and they're upset because Madden's kind of messing with their money so to speak because they're no longer able to make these ebooks or guides on how to manipulate the game and the uh, the player locomotion uh, to gain a, a net positive result for the user um, so with that being said I will say having played um, having been fortunate to play as part of the Madden 22 public uh, play test along with a lot of my subscribers um, it's it's been it's been a, a overall positive experience for me and the people I've played against um, now there's a lot of people that you know I've seen on Twitter they're upset a lot of them have even said they will not play Madden 22 if come August or September uh, the motion is sluggish or slow or unresponsive 
you know, you say slow, unresponsive, sluggish, I think realistic. But everyone's entitled to their opinion. And, you know, there's people that are threatening to hold out content against their uh, their community, their, their loyal fan bases who subscribe to them just for Madden content. Now they're saying they're going to switch it up and go play Call of Duty or something. And let me go ahead and say this too, that nothing I talk about on here, no channels I mention, I'm not going to mention any, but... If you think I'm talking about you, it's I'm not talking about you. And and if I am talking about you, uh, it's not I, I I don't mean it in a negative way. I just want to bring the facts out there. Um, you know, like I said, I've been playing this game for a long time. I've seen gr good Maddens, I've seen horrible Maddens, um, and I think we're finally in the upswing here as far as great Maddens. You know, last great Madden in my opinion was Madden 08. Um, but we're kind of like getting back into where Madden was great. So um, I'm really looking forward to what this game has to offer. Um, I love the idea of the modifiers, a home and away team modifiers. Essentially, the better you do, the better your team feels and performs, which is a very simple concept. I'm not sure why it wasn't implemented before, but it's absolutely genius. Um, you guys know that I don't really dabble too much in franchise, and I know there was a lot of justified anger. A lot of justified anger. I'd be really mad if my thing was franchise mode, and year after year there was no changes to it. Well, um, after watching the deep dive that uh, Moonlight Swami did, um, it was it was kind of cool to see how, how many layers there are to the game mode. And heck, you know what? I told you I don't really play, but this year might be the year I get back into it. It's It just looks that good and that in-depth, you know? So, um, and that's what I mean. Like, the, the, the overall improvements to the game are going to get people playing modes that they probably wouldn't have played before. Um, heck, they might, e might even make a franchise gamer out of me. Who knows? But it's important to understand, too, that the perfect game really does not exist. It's, you're looking at the future or the past with uh, what they call a rose color lenses if you think that there was a perfect game. NFL 2K5, as much as I love the game, and I've probably invested several hundreds of hours into that game. At the time, if you asked me, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. But if you go and pull up YouTube videos of NFL 2K5, there's problems all over the place. It is not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. So it's important to understand where we are, where we came from, and where what the game is doing going forward, okay? And you already know that if you've been following me in it for any bit of time, you know I've been critical of Madden 2. But that comes from a good place, right? Because I, I, I'm critical about the game because I want to make the game better. If I'm going to be sitting there playing a game for over a year, or almost nearly a year, I want to make sure it's the very best Madden ever. So I'm going to give you my blunt and honest feedback, good or bad, okay? But I'm going to do it in a tasteful manner. That's what's important. Do it in a tasteful, respectful manner. Now, there's other people out there who... Um, I'm not saying anything about their personality. They're, they're fine folks, but they just come from a place where... Madden could do no right in their eyes. And I feel like you lose a lot of your, um, not reputation so much, but you, you discredit yourself in a major way because here, here they are, you know, addressing some of the complaints and criticisms of the community, EA is, and they're making positive strides to fix those things or even implement new things. And to have an immediate negative backlash to it before all the facts are even out there, uh, namely Madden 22. The game hasn't even come out yet. The only gameplay we've seen is from the playtest, and that's a beta. So, for you to, for people to come out here and say that Madden 22 is going to be the worst Madden, I don't agree with that. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping for the best going forward. Uh, I'm hoping that Madden 22 is the best game going forward. Um, I'll be putting out a new video here later in a few weeks once we have more information on Madden 22, but I appreciate all the support. Everyone who came and followed me over to Twitch, 
uh, there will be more live streams. I'm probably not going to be bringing too much content here as far as streams to YouTube, but uh, if you do mind, if you don't mind rather, give me a follow on Twitch and um, ask me any questions you have on there and I'll be sure to address some of those and maybe even put them in a new video. Until next time, this is Raining Ravens out. Jesus bless all you guys and go Ravens.